rab today we will start with the poem where the mind is without fear written by rabindranath tagore rabindranath tagore was born in kolkata on 7th may 1861 and died in 1941 he was a bengali poet a short story writer playwright essayist song composer and painter who introduced many new prose forms and verses he was highly influential in introducing indian culture to the west and vice versa he is generally regarded as the outstanding creative artist of early 20th century india in 1913 He became the first non-European to receive the Nobel Prize for Literature. In this poem, where the mind is without fear, Tagore is very sad by the miserable lives that is led by the Indians under the British rule. It was the time when British, when India was under the British rule, was dependent, and India was struggling for the independence. In this poem Tagore shows his love for his country and he prays to God to help the Indians to attain the freedom from all the mental and physical bonds He says that the knowledge also should be attained without any restriction and there should be no discrimination based on caste creed creed race religion etc In the end he prays to God to seek support and guidance for his countrymen. He also asks God to awaken Indians into this heaven like place for an independent nation. Now we come to the poem where the mind is without fear. Where the mind is without fear and head is held high. where knowledge is free where the world has not broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls where words come out from the depth of truth where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake in the opening lines where the mind is without fear and the head is held high the poet says that there is a fear in the minds of the indians who are under the british rule he the poet speaks about the miserable life led by the indians under the british rule and he asks says to his countrymen that they should free themselves free their minds also and live a digni and live a dignified life He also conveys that freedom can be attained only when mind is fearless and head is held high with respect with respect you should hold your head high when knowledge is free look when your mind is free of all type of bondings then only you can gain knowledge so the poet says that the gaining independence would also give them the freedom to acquire knowledge they can acquire knowledge which was restricted in the during the british rule where the world has world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls now he says he is throwing light on various evils that were prevailing in the society at that time means the britishers they were uh, ruling under one policy and what was that policy to divide and rule means to create 
various types of rivalries among the different sections of the society means narrow domestic walls domestic walls means these rivalries inside the country of what rivalries of religion caste creed race and it was created by the people themselves and he is also referring to the superstitious beliefs that were prevailing in the society at that time where words come out from the depth of truth poet wants the nation to be honest and truthful the people of india should be honest and truthful they should use those words that come from the core of the heart from the depth of the heart where tireless tireless striving stretches its arm towards perfection here tireless striving is personified the poet says that once goal should be attained by perfection we can be perfect in everything means an ideal country and all those years of struggle would finally reach to its goal of attaining freedom and perfection we should work today like this that tomorrow when we will get freedom we will uh, be very perfect where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit now here he has used a metaphor for reason and habit and he refers to reason as clear stream clear streams means a clear water that is flowing that is clear and pure so he is speaking about the thoughts of the people in which he says that those thoughts should be clear noble honest and free from all sort of corruption dready desert sand of dead habit means to the evils of the society and the superstitious practices the lack of the logics and the reasons that were there in the society we have to overcome all those things next where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action now the poet wishes his countrymen to be progressive and be broad minded he wants that their minds should lead forward to ever widening thoughts and action by god they should be open minded and do something extraordinary to overcome the narrowness of the mind in the last lines he says he prays to god and he addresses god as the father into that heaven of freedom my father let my country away he ask him ask him and he ask the father the almighty god to awaken his country into such a heaven of freedom where all the above conditions that he was desiring for his country would meet now this poem is a very short simple poem and it is directed to his fellow indians but spoken to god and this verse form of poem is a free verse with no metrical patterns or rhymes and tagore was credited for having discovered this new form of composing poems called prose poem so this was the poem where the mind is without fear by rabindranath tagore